so hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button to like this video and of course share it to your friends and your loved ones i'm gonna be talking about side hustles that you can do as a medical doctor these are things that you can be doing on the side to make like an extra income you might want to venture into other things outside of medicine just to have multiple sources of income so this video is just to give you an idea of the kind of things that you can do i mean at the end of the day you pick what actually rocks your boat without further ado let's get right into the video so i have my notepad right here just so that i do not forget what i want to tell you guys in this video because i have been thinking for a very long time like if you don't know and if you're new to my channel i am a practicing doctor at the moment and obviously i have thought about a few other things i can do to make money on the side so here are a few of my ideas for a side hustle as a medical doctor the first one i mean you're looking at it right here is youtube youtube is definitely a side job a side business a side hustle depending on what you want to do with the platform so obviously if you're the kind of person that would not mind putting themselves out there because i do believe that a lot of doctors are not really the social media kind of people you will find that a lot of them are probably not even on social media and even if they're on social media they are barely there um if you're the kind of person that would not mind being on a platform where everybody's watching you then i think that you should try out youtube i watched a video about um content creation and he said start with what you're doing now so basically put yourself out there as the thing that you're doing so if you're a doctor if you're an accountant if whatever it is you're doing make content about what you're doing it's better to curate content out of the life that you're living than to actually curate your life for the platform for youtube if that makes sense so instead of living a life just for youtube it's better that you live your life and think of what people would want to see out of the life that you're living on a normal basis don't think that okay because people are putting out some kind of content maybe when they're traveling or living a luxurious life it feels like that's their daily lifestyle no don't feel intimidated by those kind of content just because you're not living that kind of lifestyle doesn't mean that you cannot curate content out of the kind of life that you're living and if you meet the requirements you can actually be bringing in books i know a content creator here on this platform he was a practicing medical doctor before you know in the uk and he quit medicine and he's now a full-time content creator a podcaster and i think other businesses that he has on his plate so it is very doable i mean he started making content on youtube based off his life at the time when he was a doctor you know living in the uk i mean that is a typical example and there's so many doctors doctors out there that are making content out of their lifestyles out of just you know being a practicing doctor so you can do the same thing too if you don't know what to do just vlog your life <laughs> sponsors can actually reach out to you to you know advertise on your platform as well it is definitely a money making platform so don't rule it out it is definitely something that you can do on the side so the first thing on my list here is youtube and if you don't like youtube if you're not the kind of person that likes to put their faces out there you can also do podcasting as well so you can definitely just sit down with your colleagues or sit down by yourself i started a podcast which is something i actually enjoy doing i feel podcast is definitely one that is in trend right now and if you feel more comfortable with just speaking then definitely try out podcasting people still make money on podcasts so the next one here i i think that you can definitely do this at any time is tutoring i feel like most of the things i'm going to say you can always link it back to youtube say for instance you're a specialist right or you're a resident doctor working in internal medicine or you're a pediatrician whatever specialty it is you can always tutor people in that field you can tutor fellow medical students you can come on youtube and just give tutorials on different things that you've learned at the end of the day the more you work the more you learn on the job so obviously that these are things that you can always come out to tell other people to be aware of i mean your junior doctors people that are also looking up to you can learn from you based off your own experience and based off the things that you have learned so you can definitely tutor medical students you know there are some courses that a lot of people find very problematic i know people that were tutoring in my school and they were cash now because basically you charge per hour so imagine if you're tutoring you know one or two or three students for two hours every day imagine how much you'd be cashing out every week so i think like tutoring is something that you should definitely look into and make sure you something that you're able to do because i believe that it's not everybody that knows how to teach or if it's on youtube that you want to teach these are 
things that will keep on bringing in money because if you're trying to teach about maybe for instance you're trying to tutor physiology um people will always come to your videos for physiology i don't know in my medical school um there's this guy we always used to watch doctor ah i forgot his name now hey i think he's indian he's a very popular teacher and i watched him for most of my medical school even though his videos can be very very long but i did learn a lot he definitely taught very well like he broke it down to the nitty-gritty stuff that you need to learn like you need to understand the course you can also do something like that i don't know if it's popular in every country being a doctor in a care home or being a doctor or nurse in a care home i believe that that is definitely a side job that you can do to make more money obviously you're still going to be practicing your medicine because you're also going to be taking your medical skills there you're basically the gp so you go there and check people that are sick sick patients you monitor your patients you monitor the residents it's just like also going to people's houses to you know render services to sick patients at home for this kind of job you don't need to be a specialist it will be a plus if you're a specialist say for instance you're a cardiologist and majority of people have like heart problems hypertension different kind of heart diseases and they will probably need you know regular checkup and regular like modification of their drugs combination whatever it is your skills will actually come in handy if your patient has a cardiac disease or if your patient has any of these heart problems i believe you don't have to be a specialist even if you're a resident doctor your skills will equally come in handy i don't think that is something that is out of the ordinary because it's not like you are actually performing anything invasive there's no invasive therapy in the care home you're just basically telling them what to do and if they need any extra investigation if they need any extra therapy then you can send them to the actual hospital in some places they pay you per hour in some places they pay you per month whatever the case may be but i believe that it is a very nice side job that you can do on the side and it doesn't take you away from the field of medicine that you are already used to so i always tell people to learn skills in medical school i think that it's something that you should always do or basically explore other things explore other passions so learn skills like it could be cooking it could be you know making hair it could be doing nails anything anything other than medicine because i feel like once you explore these skills you can actually make money off it so imagine if you love cooking you can actually start a youtube channel and just you know be showing us your culinary skills or you can just be cooking on the side and giving to your colleagues at work everybody's going into tech these days now so even learning programming learning coding can actually help you to you know navigate your way into med tech if you already have a skill that you're not really using now look for ways to capitalize your skills it doesn't matter what kind of skills that it is i think you should look for ways to capitalize even if it's singing see let me tell you nothing is too small nothing is insignificant so take advantage of whatever you have and capitalize on it monetize your skills another thing here is research there are some people that love to read you know there are some people that love to you know research on topics heck even in the specialty that you're you know working in there are some things that might be very interesting for you and you want to research if you're working in oncology that's basically cancer dealing with cancer patients you might see a very like spectacular case and you want to write about it and you want to even research more about it you know some people do research about some you know drugs and therapy some people research about how things happen if that's an area that you're interested in then i think that you, should, you can explore there are different companies that do research especially in the public health sector even in phd if you're doing your phd i think they do research there as well but basically what i'm trying to say is you can go into research and they pay you for it researchers make money and you can be researching and still be working as a doctor so it's definitely a good side hustle if you're a researcher you're also a writer so you definitely be writing it could be a medical writer so this thing i've noticed about medicine is that there are different things that you can do as a doctor trust me there's so many things you can be a medical journalist get into writing so learn how to you know learn the medical writing skills um i think you can also be part of a platform or a board i don't know but from my research i saw that there's actually a medical board that actually deals with medical writers and i don't know if medical writers are also medical journalists but they're definitely medical journalists as well so look into that as well so research medical writing medical journaling if you are one that is open to writing thesis for people what <laughs> 
I mean, I mean, it doesn't hurt for those extra bucks. Say, for instance, you're a, you're a first year, you know, resident doctor, and first year resident doctors or junior doctors or foundation doctors don't really get as much money in my opinion they don't really they're not really paid as much so these are things that you can do you can write thesis for people you can write essays for people and make a little dollars or pounds again look into researching writing journaling medical writing medical journaling thesis and all that jazz a medical business so this is for my big guys this is for my big eggballs <laughs> in the medical industry or in medical field so you're already a specialist, you're already a consultant and you don't know what to do because sometimes, you know, you get to a stage in life and you just feel like, I want more. I want more out of my life. You can actually start a medical business and it depends on what area, just like any business in general. If you want to start a business, you definitely have to do your research, market research and look for what's lacking in the market, you know, look for what people want. You have to basically provide a solution to a problem. Whatever is more profitable and feasible, you know, and realistic that you know people would take advantage of and people would always want go into that let's just say you're a nephrologist you can open a dialysis center that's a good business it's not just about the money you have to make sure that you're rendering services services that will actually help people heck a cardiologist you can open your own cardiac center that is a specialist center so you can basically open a specialist center based off your specialty you can open a medical diagnostic business where people come and pay for special diagnosis so it could be blood tests it could be urine samples or urine tests sorry it could be uh x-ray ct you know whatever mris whatever kind of investigation diagnostics you can definitely do everything in one which i believe is very very lucrative because people would always need diagnosis you know it's either you go with the the government hospitals or you go private so there are definitely private sectors where you can do this diagnosis and yours can be one of them if you learn some certain skills you can actually open a business that is specific for those skills say for instance you learn aesthetics medicine dermatologists are making money off skincare you can start your own skincare line just start with one product and just keep multiplying and keep growing your brand the last one on my list is it's something that i actually found out here pharmacovigilance so basically pharmaceutical companies these are the ones that make drugs and probably make vaccines as well they need doctors they call them medical advisors or medical reviewers so they need doctors to like review cases of people that have probably tested out some vaccines or tested out some drug therapies and seeing maybe if there's any adverse reaction to the drug medication and how effective it is and how many people were able to use it and how you know just basically all of that case study and stuff like that some companies though don't need people with that experience they don't need people with the pharmaceutical or pharmacovigilance experience they just need doctors whereas i've noticed that there are some companies that need you to have taken some specific courses that would help you in that aspect put yourself out there be open to anything you know in the health sector be open to any opportunities because i believe that there's so many opportunities in medicine it doesn't have to be only clean clinical medicine so don't put yourself in a box if you don't want to if you want to just be in clinical medicine then this video is not for you but if you know that there are other things that you want to do i mean just try these things out and i hope that it works for you <laughs> i will definitely come back to watch this video to remind myself in case i'm thinking you know what i can do what else can i do in my life i will definitely come back to this video so yeah thank you guys for watching this video let me know if this video was helpful leave your thoughts in the comment section i hope that you guys like this video because it's something that is quite different from what i do on my channel yeah thank you guys for watching if you've not subscribed to my channel please make sure you hit the subscribe button like this video and of course share it with your friends and your loved ones and i'm gonna see you in my next one